Hello everybody and welcome back to the Little Gamer 81 channel. Today I am going to be showing you how you can set up use your emulator on your PC. So let's get started. So what you will need is your computer, an internet connection, and a controller, or you can just use your keyboard. Uh, so what you will need, so, I mean, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your internet browser, and you want to go to yuzu-mu.org, which I'll leave a link in the description to, and then you just want to click download, scroll down, and click download for Windows 64-bit. And this only works on 64 bit, so you want to make sure your system is a 64 bit uh, system. And you also want to have Microsoft Visual C 2019. So just click that and wait for that to install or download. And then click on it. Click I agree, install. Click yes to the security pop up. And just wait for this to finish. So I'm just gonna put this on time lapse. So then, once that's done, it's going to ask you to restart your computer. So I am going to restart my computer and I'll be back with you guys when this is finished. So once your PC is finished restarting, you want to open up File Explorer, click Downloads, and then open up yuzuinstall.exe. Now you can close out your File Explorer, and here you will have the option to install Yuzu or install Yuzu Early Access. Now for Early Access, you'll need to make a, a Yuzu account and sign up with their Patreon, and then get a token so that you could get Early Access. But I'm not going to go through all of that, so I'm just going to install the normal version. And here, uh, you will have the option to create a desktop shortcut, and I would just like, recommend that. So then once you've done that, click install, and it should start installing. And this will take a few seconds or minutes, depending on your PC. Uh, so once this is done, just click exit, and then open Yuzu, and then here you will have, uh, I, I've installed this before so that's why that showed up, but anyways once you're done, this should pop up, now here, to set this up, go to emulation, configure, and then here, uh, go to system actually uh graphics and here for the api uh i would recommend vulcan because uh i've been because when i first tried this out i used opengl but that like like the second i made an input it would like freeze up the game and it would crash and with vulcan graphics that did not happen so I so if your PC isn't that good like mine it, it is just like a normal like PC I would recommend using Vulcan for this and, and it will be laggy but I mean it's better than not being able to play the game at all and then go to, you want to go to controls and then here you wanna you wanna set up your controllers so if you want you could use a keyboard but I am going to use my Xbox controller for this so, if yours is Bluetooth, you can just connect that, or if it's not, you just just plug it in to your computer, and then select, and then here, uh, I would recommend selecting Pro Controller, and then here, just click any, and if you want to use your keyboard, just click keyboard and mouse, but I'm going to use any, so then for the stick, uh, you want to move it horizontally and vertically, so okay, so 
and then and and then I would just recommend leaving the dead zone in range like that, range like that, and then so. Okay, so D pad. Uh, so right stick. Dead zone to zero. Face buttons. Okay, R. And ZR, and then plus, minus, L, and ZL, and then for here on most Xbox controllers, that will be all the inputs. So if you want the capture and home, just uh, I would recommend just putting like a key on your keyboard. So for capture, I'm gonna do N, and I guess home, you can't do that since there's no like actual operating system and it's just an emulator and once you've done that you can click you have to click save and select a profile so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna name mine uh, cause you can't name it okay so just click save and click OK and once you've done that you now have your you now have the CEMU emulator set up for your PC so Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help me out a ton, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.